I'm David from Hailbytes. If you use AWS and wish you could easily run your own project management dashboard, you'll benefit from what I'm about to share. You can quickly provision project management dashboards in 26 regions around the globe with the low cost and reliability of Amazon Web Services. I'll show you how to do this on AWS over the next 10 minutes. By the end of this video, you'll know how to launch your own project management infrastructure, set up AWS networking, connect to your project management dashboard, and create your first project and tickets. Step one, navigate to the AWS Marketplace. Step two, go ahead and search for Hailbytes Red Light. Then select the Redmine by Hailbytes listing. Step four, select the continue to subscribe option in the upper right. Step five, agree to the terms and conditions. And then step six, wait until the subscription is available and we'll click to continue to configuration. Step seven, we can go ahead and click continue to launch. Then we'll want to go ahead and take a look at the usage instructions. This will have the URL that you'll need for connecting to the dashboard, and you'll want to save this for reference later. It also has some handy tips for how you can check the health of the service, how you can uh, restrict different ports and what they're used for, and how you can ask for help. So we'll go ahead and we'll keep the action launch from website the same. And then for the instance type, for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and we'll tweak it down a little bit to a t3a.medium. We'll want to make sure that the VPC that we launched this instance into uh, is accessible to the public internet. So we want to have a VPC with host names enabled, with IP assignment enabled, so we can go ahead and do our certificate generation. Now, if you don't have that, you can watch the quick tutorial in the description if you need help setting up that public networking on AWS, uh, and we can do it very, very quickly and easily. In this case, we already have it set up, so we'll go ahead and create a VPC in EC2 just so that we can see the VPC list. And we're gonna go ahead and select that public VPC that we prepared earlier. So VPC 07 d in our case. And then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select the public subnet. So that will be subnet 049. And then for security group, we want to make sure that we create a new based on seller settings. And here we can go ahead and name this Redmine Security Group. Redmine Security Group. And SSH will be used for connecting to the machine for administrative purposes. AD and 3000 are used for connecting. AD is used for certificate renewal, and 3000 is used for actually connecting to the dashboard. So these can be restricted as you see fit. It's better to have them more restricted than to leave them open, but I am going to leave them open for the purposes of this demonstration. And then we want to go ahead and make sure that we have a key pair selected that we have access to, and we can select launch. Now we'll be able to go ahead and view this instance on the EC2 console. So step 11, we'll want to navigate to the instance details directly or through the EC2 dashboard. And then step 12, we're just going to be waiting until the health checks come back green for this instance. So we'll see it uh, likely in a pending state. Oh, already up and running. Um, and we want two out of two checks coming back as green before we can move on to the next step. Um, what it's doing right now is essentially going and configuring Redmine, configuring all of the uh, supporting infrastructure for Redmine. It's generating the certificates, it's creating DNS entries, it's updating the administrative account with the instance ID of the service password, um, and making sure that all of that is configured properly in the background here. Now that the instance checks are coming back as green, we can go ahead and click on the instance and grab the instance ID, then open a new window, and we'll be going to https colon forward slash forward slash the instance id dot redmine dash dot com colon 3000. Now from here you'll want to go and log in as the admin user by clicking on sign in in the upper right and then using admin and the instance id as the password.
once you log in, you can begin defining projects and users and adding tasks for them to start using your Redmine instance immediately by clicking on projects in the upper left-hand side, clicking on new project, and then defining a new project. You can even set another website as a home page, uh, if it's a web application, for instance, uh, in order to make it easily accessible. So we'll go ahead and we'll create the project. And as soon as we create that project, a lot of functionality becomes visible here. So we can see an overview for bugs and features and support, and we can go ahead and create a new issue. And we'll go ahead and set this as a feature. Status is new, priority is urgent. And we'll go ahead and assign to ourselves. There's only Redmine admin at the outset, so you have to go to administration and create new users in order to assign uh, tasks to other folks. And there we go. We've gone ahead and we've created our first issue in our first project. We'll go to administration. If you go to users, You'll we'll be able to create new users by going ahead and filling in this information and then providing that login information to the person, typically through a password manager like LastPass um, or via secure SMS or secure email. Then you'll be able to see from your page projects that you're a part of, issues that you're assigned to, or that you yourself have reported and the status of those issues. So with that, you're done with configuration. You're ready to use your project management dashboard, set up more projects and tasks, and onboard users for task assignments. If there's more that you'd like to see, please drop a comment and let us know what kind of documentation you'd like, and we're happy to go ahead and create new video documentation.